Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So today I want to show you this playlist in which we have captured the interview questions asked in various MNC companies. You can see Sprinkler, Oracle, Aira is there, Paytm, Tech Mahindra, Flipkart, Capgemini, MDocs, Amazon, IBM, LNT Infotech. So these are the various interview questions asked in these MNC companies and these are shared by few of my subscribers. So thank you so much to them and please take advantage of this. And today we have come up with a new video in which we are going to cover the automation testing interview questions asked in TCS company. So Tata, Tata, Tata Consultancy Services. So before covering the automation testing interview questions, let me show you the HR round interview questions. And these are the short, short questions that you will get in this company. So the very first thing is, why do you want to join TCS? This particular question you can get in every company. Like, why do you want to join Cognizant? Why do, why do you want to join Infosys? Okay, so this is the pattern. Then tell me something about yourself. Do you know about the service agreement? Do you have any questions for them? So if you if you get such opportunity to ask the questions to them, so please ask questions. Don't ask questions based on just, uh, you know, considering the salary parameter. Okay, Ask some questions that are related to more of a business in which they are having. Okay, now coming to automation testing interview questions. So does Selenium support mobile applications? So as we all know, it is a browser automation tool. You can automate it in Chrome browser, Firefox, Safari is there, okay, and so on. And it only automates websites opening in mobile browser and mobile apps cannot be automated. What is default port number used by Selenium? So it is 4444. If default port number is busy, how to change port number? So generally in automation framework, you know, automation testers do implement this code, you know, using set port method. So you have to answer this as well, this only, that uh, it any, any port number which is a valid and which has not been used by any other application can be used. There is no restriction in terms of port number. So you can create an object of remote control configuration and then you can use this particular set port method as 4567 or any other port that is available. R.set port and add that port number as a parameter. And then you will be able to change the port number. Now, what is the difference between JXL and Apache POE? So JXL does not support XLSX files. Well, Apache POE supports XLS as well as XLSX files. JXL exerts less load on the memory as compared to Apache POI. Apache POI has got a support of rich text formatting. Also, Apache POI is up-to-date library, while JXL has not been maintained to that particular extent. The sample code, or you can say the support uh, across the market, it is available more for Apache POI because generally in it has been seen that by the automation team the apache poi is uh, heavily used in compared to jxl so people you will find many blogs you will find many videos available in the market which will help you to you know to move forward with any of the query if you get any query related to apache poi so you will get answers also there are many blogs available but this is not the case with respect to jxl now, what is the difference between find element and find elements? So find element, it will return a single web, el web element, while find elements, it will return a list of web elements. Find element, it is finding out the first, very first element within that particular current page using the locating mechanism. While find all elements is finding all the elements within that particular current page. So this is the major difference between find element and find elements. Now, next question is how to switch between the frames. So there are three options. Basically, you can 
use any of them in the automation but in the interview make sure that you answer all the three options so that interviewer comes to know yes that he or she is well versed about the automation and has got hands on experience on various options so at the first it is via number so option 1 is about a number so you can select a frame based on its index okay let's say if there are three frames the first frame would be at index 0 the second would be at index 1 the third would be at index 2 and once this particular frame has been selected then you can perform some automation on that frame you can also automate it via a name or an id <clears throat> so you can select a frame by its name or id so frames located okay now this also is one of the question now let's say if you find a name also for that particular frame and if you are able to Trace a ID also for that particular frame. Then which one will you go for? So frames located by matching name attributes are always given precedence over those matched by ID. And then previously found web element. So you can select a frame using its previously located web element, and then you can get the frame by its ID or name and locate it by driver dot find element. Okay. So these are few of the options. now how will you switch between the windows okay now let's say if there are multiple windows so you can write this code or you can explain this code so basically they won't ask you it depends on the interview at sometimes they will ask you to write end to end program but at sometimes they will ask you to write high level code high level logic so that they can come to know okay this particular person or this particular candidate is aware about the logic and would be able to do the automation if this, any such scenario comes up so this is how you can explain so <clears throat> so you can use this particular code as it has been shown on the screen you can use for loop and then you can use driver dot switch to windows okay and there is an if condition as well that if this particular window title is there so do this and if this particular window title is there so this would be done so these are few of the interview questions asked in a tcs company apart from this questions you might also get uh, questions on oops concepts like uh, inheritance polymorphism abstraction and how have you used these particular oops concepts in your automation framework how many automated tests do you create in a day what is your contribution to the automation framework let's say if you have added some automated test so what is the significance of that uh, how many defects you are able to find out and how many how, to what extent the automation code coverage has got increased or any particular utilities or libraries that you have added which has ultimately helped the qa team the automation qa team or any customer defects let's say if it's a product based company so any customer defects or if it's in service based company so any client based defects that you have automated so that in future if any releases are happening so you are making sure that this particular regression defect won't come because it was reported by client earlier right so these are few of the automation testing interview questions asked in tcs company but it can also be asked in any other company like in hcl automation sorry for hcl company if you are going for automation testing interview so in that also you can expect then infosys uh, mindtree and various other mnc companies that are there in all these companies you can expect such questions to come okay so thank you so much for watching this video and there is one more request that if you are attending any interviews so please share the interview questions with us at rd automation learning at gmail dot com, so we would be able to create videos on these interview questions and would be able to help the community as well. Okay, so would request you know it's a humble request from the channel that please do share the interview questions with us so that we are able to create videos for you. And these are the interview questions that are actually shared by few of the subscribers. So it was not in a proper sequence, but yes. in whichever uh, way they were able to recall so they have sent those questions so we have added the answers as well to help someone prepare for a real time interview if they are going for interviews in mnc companies like tcs infosys mindtree 
at seal technologies capgemini and all those things okay so thank you so much for watching this video